on creating new schools that approach the way we should receive our education post the internet now based on a 1930s idea of how to put everyone in the same factory. Schools were designed to put people in certain forms of jobs. The internet has opened up all other forms of jobs. Education is far behind where it needs to be for us as human beings to be informed enough to not be disappointed in the way that so many people work. We have to ask questions. None of us are experts at everything. When they go up and question the candidates and it's all about what the fuck they remember, it's not about what you remember, it's about do you have the ability to work with the best of class. People be joking about Donald. Oh, he didn't even know that he had to get this, he had to get that. But does he have the ability to work with the best of class? What, it would be a prejudice because of something he would have said earlier, right, when he was running to win. A prejudice against something that he did in order to win. But if he takes the model, the same model I'm going to take in 2020, if he takes the model to work with the best in class and to work from a place of empathy, for people, for the family of people, not just America, the world. We are one world, bro. We are one race, bro. There's a lot of people who said things that offended people. Benjamin Carson is a fucking genius. He might have said things that offended people. Maybe Bernie Sanders ain't had a right look or something. You know what I'm saying? He might have said, or maybe people was tired of the status quo of politics and just wanted to see could possibly something fucking change this fucking 1930s education system, this fucking class system, this ecosystem. Maybe it was people out there who wanted to see if something could possibly fucking change in this political ass society that's not doing nothing to help each other out, but only to keep themselves in fucking power. The, okay, And you know what? People tell me I can't talk to y'all in this in this way. They say, let me see what I'm saying about keeping themselves in power. There's a power to the St. Pablo tour. All y'all know is the coldest tour, all that type of shit, right? So the reason why the funny thing about the guy throwing up the views hat is I popped, you see, you shook your hand, no, right? So the reason why I might not have thrown on the views hat is to assess the power, to show the power of this tour. Nah, I'm the man, I'm gay, this is my Let's tour, right? Come on, but then when that motherfucking pop style come on, everybody go crazy. It's from this album. You know what we're crazy about? Motherfuckers is always trying to do power plays. That's what politics are. But fuck all the power plays and all that type of shit. It's the collective. It's the collective idea of 
Hillary or if we like Bill Clinton and things that he did in his country, we like things about Obama, things that he did that our current president has to take the best of all candidates' principles and combine them right now. That's what I'm going to, if that doesn't happen then, I'm going to run and I'm going to say this. Yeah. And it's going to be more clear. If, if, if that does happen, so like in LA, then there would be, famous back there wouldn't be a reason to. Y'all might not totally uh, understand or feel or everything that I'm saying or the approach to why I'm saying what I'm saying. And it's only my ego that tells you in four years you will. You know, they try to embarrass me and diminish me and say, they call me a rapper that's ranting. I don't have all of the answers, but I know that if I work with the best of class, with the idea of empathy for the human race, not an idea of a power struggle between who's hot, who's not, who's Republican, who's Democrat, who said this, who said that, but more of what is the principles that can collectively come together in this, we can start with America. And, and and bring together the best of all skill sets. Education, housing. There's so many elements that I've been out here learning. When I make my like rich guy house and shit, I be like learning about elements that everyone should have. Color palettes, proportions. Hey, when you, when you do that, I, I appreciate that you appreciate that, but I feel like when you clap, you can't hear what I'm saying as well. So if I'm saying something and you clap, I'm taking that as you trying to tell me you want to experience the St. Pablo tour that was experienced, you know, three weeks ago. Yeah? And one thing that I do have the ability to do is talk as long as the fuck as I want right here as long as I want to. Some people might have a less enjoyable pop experience than others. Some people might have came to slam, you know what I'm saying, turn up more than others. But if, if you clap and I'm in the middle of getting the idea, it's just distracting. Like that type of clap is good. I said the idea that it's clap, but they was like this while I was talking and shit. It's like, now you trying to control the way that I'm using my platform currently today. This is my platform. I did have a lot to say. I did have a lot of things that I felt about the paradigm shift that we are under right now. And I was told to not say certain ideas I had because, oh, your fans won't understand. The reason why you're echoed to on the internet is because people believe that you won't understand. Now, I just want to have, since we had a conversation for a while, do I'm going to ask the question again. Strictly this question. Not what you believe is right or wrong on who won. Strictly this question, answer me this. Do you believe that there are people here enjoying, or before I started talking at least, enjoying a Kanye West show that voted for Trump? By, by a show of screams, do you believe that there are people at a Kanye West show that voted for Trump? Oh, it sounds differently than before, huh? It sounds different. Why, why, why did we move 
the first time on something that wasn't, hey, do you like Hillary, do you like Trump? That wasn't what I asked. I asked you to give me your facts because the internet was giving you their facts based on what you wanted to hear. That's it. I just want to say a lot of you guys got blindsided. I hope you did. <laughs>